Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm your host, Barbara, for this episode of Morning Coffee and Crochet. And there really is nothing better than a cup of coffee first thing in the morning. And this coffee is nice and hot. Oh. So today I want to talk to you about um, a couple different things. The first thing I want to talk to you about is... Um, I had mentioned in a few episodes before um, about this blade that um, that makes um, sequential holes in fabric as you roll it along and I ordered one and I said you know I would let you know what name um, I found out that it was because <laughs> I wasn't sure at the time but what I found online on um, Amazon and I've also found it um, in Walmart walmart.com and also Hobby Lobby.com but I went ahead and got it I was already ordering something off of Amazon and it was free shipping so I went ahead and got it from Amazon but um, this is a wide skip rotary blade wide skip rotary blade and the great thing about this wide skip rotary blade is that you um, can install it in your rotary cutter. And this one is, is my Fiskars and I've had this one for 20 years. Um, and you can change out the blades, but you can put this in your rotary cutter and um, then whatever fabric you want to crochet from the edge of, you just, you know, you measure in, I would probably measure in, you know, when you're doing, when you're sewing, you always leave um, a quarter inch. It seems to be the typical um, measurement. You go in one quarter inch and then you do, you know, you sew or whatever it is that you're going to do. So I will probably go in one quarter inch um, and then I will you know crochet and probably do more of a um, a blanket stitch to start and we'll go over that um, because I want to do a tutorial I want to do this with you um, and do some edging we can do edging on uh, just about anything um, anything that is fabric so um, of course what first comes to mind and I'm a little old-fashioned uh, go figure I'm a little old so old-fashioned yeah um, but what I would like to do is get some pillowcases because I remember growing up and it was just always such a treat um, when I got to use these pillowcases they were soft they were at one of my grandparents houses and I don't even remember which one but I just remember being so enthralled by these pillowcases that had this beautiful and I didn't know it at the time but this beautiful crocheted border around the opening of the pillowcase and I remember the border being you know about this wide so it was a substantial border but um, I've seen photos and you can do you know a smaller border a one inch a two inch seems like these were either three or four inches they were pretty substantial um, so, um, anyway, I, I really have fond, fond memories of that. So I want to try some and if I can get it right, then I will, um, make some for Christmas presents. Um, you know, the guys, they can get just a, a standard one inch border. The ladies can get a nice flourish and maybe the little girls can have, um, I don't know, maybe I can find a pattern for a flower or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll see. So anyway, I did find out what it was and it is called a wide skip rotary blade. 45 millimeters seems to be the standard for for these rotary cutters. So yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. It wasn't that expensive. I think that these, I don't actually remember. I think they were around $5 and there are five blades in there. So 
So that's pretty good. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was this little guy. And um, I don't know if this, I don't know what pattern or who um, this was from, but it was on YouTube and it was for a leaf. And this is a pretty substantial leaf. Um, see, it has a little pico at the bottom. It's really cute. Um, oh, let me come in a little bit closer so you can see the detail of it. Um, but I think, I'm pretty sure that the person in the uh, tutorial, the YouTube tutorial, must have used a lighter weight yarn, maybe even a cotton. I don't remember. I didn't have any green cotton. So I just went to my stash and I found some of this. This is soft. I think that this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. I'm pretty sure. Um, so anyway, I just got that and a hook, you know, that corresponded to the, the weight of the yarn. And I just followed the tutorial. And so, excuse me, this is a really nice little um, pattern. And, you know, if you wanted to do, if you wanted to do a garland to hang off of your patio or um, you know your front porch and then you had flowers and then some leaves this is a really big leaf though I probably would go a little smaller but I like it I thought that I hadn't looked at this for a while and I thought maybe this was a loop but it's not it's just it's just a stem so anyway I I'm really um, into these small projects that don't take a lot of time and then you're done and you have a feeling of accomplishment um, because to be quite honest with you I want to see in my drawer of completed works I want to see a nice little stack there I you know I mean I can make large projects and I do I make blankets and outfits and things like that that are time-consuming that um, you know are substantial projects but I like this little instant gratification of doing a project like a coaster or and I think that they called this one a coaster but you know it's large enough I mean look at it it's almost as big as my face well, it is as big as my face um, it's substantial enough that um, you could even use it as a trivet um, you know a little trivet or I don't know even a little placemat for like a little plate of cookies. How cute would that be? So I wanted to show you that. Now, this next and last thing that I want to show you, these have been a lifesaver for me in the office. And um, I just found out yesterday that I will be going back to the office on a, a fairly full-time basis um, starting next week. I've been working from home mostly. Um, with you know one day a week in office during this uh, time but anyway I love these and um, I was gonna bring you the alpaca yarn so that I could show you but this one is made from Hobby Lobby um, alpaca yarn it's actually 80% um, acrylic 20% alpaca so it's soft it's not scratchy and um, I really like it um, but in my office I don't know about yours but in mine um, we keep our air well I'm in an old building and it's controlled centrally the air conditioning is controlled centrally um, and so while we have some input to it and they try to be respectful of you know our comfort it is an old building and so the section that I'm in um, it's regularly 67 68 degrees so which I have come to be used to which is a problem because then when I get home I'm like oh it's 74 degrees in here I am so hot <laughs> and I personally don't want to spend the money to keep you know keep an Arctic zone in my house um, but anyway there are times when it just does get you know really chilly so I am you know putting on my sweater um, the girls at work they're you know um, 
Well, and the guys too, you know, they're like, blah, 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 blah. it's really cold in here. And then on the other end of the building, cause like I said, it's a, you know, fairly old building on the other end of the building, you know, it's like whew, heat wave time, you know? So if you um, are in our section and you just, you just get so cold, then, you know, you go to the other section to warm up or you go outside to warm up. We're in Florida for goodness sake. Um, and then the poor people that are in the heated section, um, they actually don't seem to mind it as much. I guess they got used to it or they, or they wear, you know, short sleeve shirts or, um, whatever. So, you know, they, they're used to it. Um, used to the Florida heat. I am not a fan of Florida heat. Let's just get that out of the way. I love, love, love 50 to 75, maybe outside degree weather. Um, that's my, that's my jam right there. That's my, my happy zone right there. Um, I can take, you know, lower temperatures than 50. Um, but if I just want to just be so happy with the day, then that is the temperature for me. It really is. Um, so anyway, I'm babbling, sorry, but these are fingerless gloves and, um, they are, I'm going to, I had tied them together with a little bit of yarn just to keep the pairs together. I'm going to see if I can, hmm. nope. Okay. I must have double tied them. So I'm going to show these to you. These look like just simple rectangles, right? Simple tubes. Um, but they have a thumb hole right here. So you put your hand in here. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Put your hand in here and your thumb comes out the thumb hole and you can type, you can use your pen and write, you can handle paper, you can do whatever and then it, it just really comforts your hands and keeps them warm. Um, and so I like this color. I think I might start wearing these. I'm going to take the, the ribbon off um, or the little tie off and I'm going to start using these in the office. I have some other ones in the office. I had some really ugly color yarn and so I was practicing. So I thought, well, let me use this ugly color yarn and I will um, see if it's something that, you know, maybe the my coworkers would be interested in and I had several quite a few of them actually um, get some of these gloves because their hands get cold they start aching they're just you know it's just hard to um, concentrate when you're just so cold I know um, several of them will you know go in in either the kitchen or the restroom and they'll wash their hands with really hot water <laughs> for a long time and just let the hot water run on their hands um, just to warm them up so, you know, get the, get the bones warmed up. Um, so this has helped and, um, I really like this. This is a Jada and stitches pattern and it's the primrose fingerless glove. I'm pretty sure it's the primrose. And, um, sh when she does her pattern, she actually has, um, has an extra row right here. And for everyone else in the world, <laughs> except for me, I do an extra row because everybody in the world has longer fingers than I do. I have these short little stubby fingers. And, um, so I want to have like full movement. If I did an extra row, then it would be like, it would be like, like this, like fingertips only coming out, you know, and I need a little more, you know, a little more room. Now for everybody else, they're doing this with the extra row because everybody else has normal size fingers, <laughs> not me. So that's the nice thing about this pattern though, um, with Jada and stitches, because you can, um, customize it. So I actually have, um, developed with her because she gives you this, the stitch count, um, to start. So I've actually made small, medium, and large short and long. So, People can um, special order the exact size. And what I did was I made up um, samples, just one glove, a sample, um, 
you know, in the different sizes so that they could see, you know, okay, yes, I'll need a long or I'll need a short. Nobody ever said short because, oh, like I said, I'm the only one that has, you know, little stubby fingers in the whole world, it seems. <laughs> so anyway, um, so, you know, they can decide what, um, what size they like. Um, you know, some people like their, the gloves really, some people have really tiny hands, but long fingers and, um, you know, they're the very elegant hands, <laughs> not me. I have Flintstone hands. <laughs> Yabba dabba do. So anyway, but you know what? My hands work and they're pretty good at crocheting. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them. I can also play the piano. And I remember my piano teacher when I was little, she was like, your little stubby fingers, <laughs> it's a wonder that you can play. And um, I can remember, you know, I don't know if anybody plays piano, but you know, when you do an octave and you do like the middle C and the high C and you're like, you know, most people, they just go, Bloom. and me, I'm like, ah, <laughs> stretching my fingers. Very good finger exercise, actually. So anyway, I am rambling. I hope that you have a great day. And um, I hope that this has inspired you a little bit um, to maybe, um, you know, do a little project, do something, you know, quick and small. And um, think about that um, wide skip rotary blade. You may have to buy a rotary tool if you don't have one. But they're not expensive. I mean, they really aren't. Hobby Lobby has these. Sometimes on Amazon, you know, they, they jack up the prices a little bit. It's so funny because sometimes you can get such a deal on Amazon and then other times you're like, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that is too expensive. So be a wise shopper. Um, but anyway, so this rotary tool is really, really kind of fun. And then I have a ruler, so I'll lay the ruler down and then just roll it out. So keep this in mind because um, sometime this summer I am going to get started on Christmas presents and I'm going to start slamming them out hard because I am not doing what I did last year. I mean, you never know when you're going to come down with, you know, influenza A. Who knew? Yeah. And then, and then 2020 with all of this, you know, nobody, I couldn't have predicted this. Um, even though probably I should have been paying attention and should have known that something was happening and I knew something was happening overseas, but you know, when it's overseas and you think, oh, you know, that's over, that's over the ocean. There's no way that's going to come to us. Well, here we go. So anyway, I hope that you have a great day. Go get some coffee or some tea or some ice water, something, you know, refreshing. Go relax a little bit before work. Or if you're watching this at night, make some hot tea, sit down, you know, let's um, enjoy ourselves. Grab your whips and get crocheting, right? So today I hope that you stay safe, be kind, and as always, get hooking.